And now we will have a great fighter of family protection and fight against gender ideology. Terry Chilling has made these his flagship issues. Uh, he came to Budapest from the United States, straight from the United States. He is the executive director of the American Principal Project. So please welcome here on stage, him on stage. Thank you. What a true joy it is to be in Hungary, the world capital for families, where the nuclear family isn't just prioritized, but cherished and beloved. Nations cannot exist without strong families. Families drive culture. Families create the workers and citizens of the future. Family is where we learn how to live in community, to care for one another, to take responsibility for our actions, to work hard, to sacrifice for others, to be thrifty and make do with what we have. True beauty, true strength for nations comes from a nation's families. By investing in families, empowering parents, alleviating the economic hardship of raising children and encouraging child rearing, Hungary is doing more than any other nation to strengthen your country. While much of the Western world has been moving to abolish the family and the nation, replacing it with a global government made up of global corporations, Hungary has chosen to stand apart. And for that, I am so thankful. Hungary, you are showing not just the world the way forward, but my beloved America, the way out of the woke mess that we have created for ourselves. By prioritizing your families, you have ensured a strong future for your nation, a nation where wokeism cannot survive. You have created the no woke zone. We find ourselves in the midst of an enormous consolidation of power between corporations that seek profits at the expense of the people and governments that seek power and control over the people. Under the globalist order, they seek to invert the family structure that makes our nations and our world beautiful. Your new father will be the government and your mother the corporation. Together they form the anti-family, the woke family. Instead of a father that enforces fairness, justice, and rewards you for good behavior, your woke government will reward the lazy, punish the just, and incentivize selfishness. And instead of a mother that creates beauty, provides nourishment and comfort, and teaches you to love, your woke corporation will have you living in a pod, eating bugs, and will pay for your maternity leave after a doctor aborts your baby. At best, this marriage of government and corporations will create an infantilized people from the shiftlessness encouraged by government and the productivity demanded by the corporations. An infantilized people pose no threat to government power or disruption of corporate profits. But at worst, the children of this woke marriage will go on to create travesties the likes of which humanity has never seen before. The woke family has chosen their weapon to give them the global revolution that they so desire, wokeism. Wokeism is an ideology and political movement that seeks to replace the Western system that has been built on merit and natural community with a system of equity built, I'm sorry, with a system of equity for synthetic identities such as sexual orientation and gender identity. Wokeism punishes the good and true and rewards the fake and fruitless. Wokeism destroys our ties to our nation by destroying our families through divorce, abortion, homosexuality, androgyny, pornography, and drug use. By erasing a moral system that determines these things to be morally evil and destructive and replacing it with a system that values these selfish things over marriage, self-sacrifice, love, and honor. But I ask, how can one love their country if they hate their parents and ancestors? How can one love their country if they choose not to provide it with the next generation of citizens? A nation can only exist if there is love for others. And how can we possibly love others if we don't even love our own children and parents? Love is the willingness to sacrifice for the betterment of others. This we learn in our families. Does government sacrifice for us? 
No, we sacrifice for government. Does the corporation sacrifice for us? No, we sacrifice ourselves for their corporate profits. Love can only be learned through Christ and family, where ultimately our loved ones would die for our betterment and we would die for theirs. I once knew a man whose parents divorced when he was 16 years old. America had adopted a system of no-fault divorce. Because of this divorce in high school, he developed alcoholism and eventually a very serious drug addiction. That addiction almost ended his own marriage while his wife was pregnant with his fourth child. Through the loving counsel of his own divorced mother, this man decided to get clean and change his life to prevent his own children from adopting the same life of addiction and pain that he had suffered. That man went on to have six more children with his wife, and he currently has 20 grandchildren. He went on to start a successful pizza restaurant chain, and he even served as a member of the United States Congress. That man, Bobby Schilling, was my father. He died two years ago at the age of 57 from cancer, surrounded by his 10 children and loving wife. This is the closest thing to a happy death that one can get. When the children of this woke marriage of government and corporation die, who will be at their bedside? Who will hold their hand? Wokeism would have you die alone, childless in a death pod at the direction of government and corporation once your value to them is used up. The love my father showed us was returned to him and will be passed on to his next generation. It is a love that none of us can forget. That is a love that no government, no corporation can teach. It is a self-sacrificial love that can only be learned from Christ and family. The world needs more no woke zones. The world needs America to become a no woke zone. The world needs nations that strengthen and cherish their families, for without them, neither the nation nor the world can exist. And even if they can exist, it is an existence with not worth having. To the woke globalists and government and corporations, the anti-woke, the families have a message for you. We will not eat your bugs. We will not live in your pods. We will not sacrifice our children to your false gods of sexual grooming and perversion. We will not co-parent with you. We will not get your brain implant. We will not fight your crony wars. We will not rent our wombs. We will not mutilate or sterilize our children. We will not prostitute our daughters on OnlyFans. We will not sell our souls or the future of our children to you. I will never be called parent one and my wife will never be called parent two. We will own our cars, own our homes, our children, our grandchildren, and our great-grandchildren, and we will die happy, regardless of if the rest of our lives are spent thwarting your evil plans. We are not your subjects. We are not cogs in your machine. We are the children of a loving and powerful father, and we are willing to meet him before ever caving to your evil agenda. Thank you, Hungary, and God bless you all.